Today we're doing lesson 5.8, explore meters and kilometers. So we've already done the warm up and we've already done the group activity where we figured out on page 43 that one kilometer is the length of about nine soccer fields, about 11 Statues of Liberty, exactly 20 Olympic sized pools, and about 36 basketball courts. So now um, we are on page 44, meters and kilometers. It says complete the table with the missing links in meters or kilometers. So the first one that they give us, first of all, we know for sure that one kilometer is 1,000 meters, right? Okay. So if you have half of a kilometer, how many meters would that be? Have a seat, please. Olivia? 500, because what's half of one? A half. What's half of a thousand? 500. Excellent job, Olivia. Okay, so write 500 in that first space. And remember, I told you guys that um, you can set them up as equivalents. So how do you get, what do you divide one by to get a half? Olivia? Two. Two. So we're going to divide by two. One divided by two is one half. One thousand divided by two is five hundred. Okay? Um, they've already filled in that one kilometer is one thousand meters. What about five kilometers, Derek? Five thousand. Okay. What about the next one? They gave us 6,000 meters. How many kilometers would that be, Kelby? Um, what is six? What is six? That's what it is. Is this Kelby's on Jeopardy. <laughs> okay, this next one's a challenge. It's a challenge. Caitlin, I saw your hand first. If you have eight and a half kilometers, how many meters would that be? 8, yes, girl. 8,500. We know that the eight kilometers would be 8,000, and a half of another one would be 500. So 8,000 and 500 together would be 8,500. What about 10 um, kilometers? Jada, how many meters would that be? Very good, 10,000. Okay. What about how many kilometers are there in 12,000 meters, Blake? Yes, 12. And then on the last one, how many meters are there in 27 kilometers, Emily? 27,000? Yes, 27,000. Good work. Okay, the next question says, <clears throat> Andre says that 100 meters is longer than 10 kilometers. Do you agree or disagree? I always look at these problems when they've got, when they're trying to compare meters and kilometers as comparing oranges and apples. They're two different things, right? So we have to either get them both as oranges or we have to get them both as apples. And I think it's easier to start with the bigger unit of measure and turn it into the um, smaller unit of measure because that's going to require you to multiply. If you start with the smaller unit of measurement and go to the bigger one, that would require you to divide. I'll, I'll explain more in a minute. But, which is 
bigger, meters or kilometers? Kilometers, kilometers right? So let's turn those 10, kilometer, 10 kilometers into <coughs> meters. How many meters are there in 10 kilometers? Delena? No. So in every one kilometer, there's how many meters? 1,000. So if you have 10 kilometers, how many meters would that be? Let her get there, guys. Okay, so it's like this. So one kilometer is 1,000 meters, right? We have 10 kilometers. So Delena, what do you have to do to one to make it a 10? What do you have to multiply by? One times blank equals 10. 10, and if you do it to the top, if you do it to the bottom, so what is 1,000 times 10? Or 10 groups of 1,000? 10. Yes, 10,000. All right, see, she got there. So, 10,000 meters. So, where it says 10 kilometers, guys, I want you to lightly cross that out where you can still see it and write 10,000 meters. Okay? So, let's see how it looks now that we've changed it to meters and meters. Audrey says 100 meters is longer than 10,000 meters. Uh, what? Is Andre correct? No. no. Uh, okay, so it says, do you agree or disagree? We're going to write disagree. And the reason that we disagree is because 10 kilometers equals 10,000 meters. And 10,000 meters is greater than 100 meters. Peach, who's making the noise? Kelby. Kelby. I know you thought we were in Jeopardy today, but I'm making a video and I can't have the Jeopardy theme song in the back of my video. Okay. All right. So. We disagreed because 10 kilometers is the same as 10,000 meters, and 10,000 meters is greater than 100 <laughs> meters, and he says 100 meters is longer, so that's why we disagree. Okay, now for these last few, we're going to, it says which is greater. So we've got 2,000 meters versus three kilometers. We have to turn the bigger unit into the smaller units that there's more of them. So we can see, compare apples to apples. Okay, so 2,000 meters or three kilometers. How many meters are there in three kilometers? Caitlin? 3,000. So right underneath this, guys, I want you to write 3,000 meters. Now, the question is, which is greater, 2,000 meters or 3,000 meters? So we're going to circle the 3 kilometers slash 3,000 meters. I'm also going to draw a line underneath that. I'm going to make it into like a fraction. So three kilometers, 3,000 meters, okay? We could have turned 2,000 meters into kilometers, but that would require you to divide by 1,000, okay? That's what I was meaning. Um, 2,000 divided by 1,000 is two, but, um, um, but I think it's easier just to turn, change one of them, okay? All right, on the next one.
500 meters or one kilometer? So one kilometer is how many meters, Corbin? 1,000. 1,000, good. So underneath one kilometer, guys, I want you to write 1,000 meters. And now we can easily see that 1,000 meters or one kilometer is bigger than 500 meters. Okay, next we have 14 kilometers or 14,000 meters. Well, how many meters are there in 14, 14 kilometers? See? 14,000 14, meters. So on this one, we're going to write equals 14,000 meters because these two are equivalent. Okay? And then D says 8 kilometers or 80,000 meters. Well, how many meters are there in 8 kilometers? Um, Corbin. Um, 8,000. 8, 8,000, good. 8,000 meters. So which is bigger, 8,000 or 80,000? 80, so we're going to circle the 80,000. Now, um, your assignment today is um, page 64, problem number 2, A and B. It's, two, it's a couple of problems, guys, like the one that we did talking about Andre, okay? Where he said 100 meters is greater than 10 kilometers. So I want you guys to um, look back at that answer if you need help writing your answer. Um, and I will read the problems to you so that, because um, some of the language is a little bit tough. Um, so let me get this pulled up super duper quick and then I'll read it to you and you guys can take off on the assignment. It's written on the board, just like it is every day. Okay, so we are doing problem number two, A and B. A says, the Burr Khalifa is a skyscraper in Dubai. It is 828 meters tall. Is that more or less than one kilometer? Explain your reasoning. So I would turn the kilometers into meters and see if 828 is more than the number of meters or less than the number of meters in a kilometer. And then B says, an airplane flies 9,500 meters above the ground. Is that more or less than a kilometer? So you know how many meters a kilometer is. Is 9,500 more or less than one kilometer? Once you get your answer, um, raise your hand and I will come and check it.